what we're going to do is go through numerically the uh, how accurate is the um, album cover for Dark Side of the Moon with the famous white light entering the prism. Okay, so we have to do this properly. So let's, let's set up here. Let's get some lights off here. Turn it down so you can hear me. It's background music. Very important background music. I can't talk about this without it. All right, so let's have a look. And I'm going to draw it here so that I can work on it a little bit. And let's start by asking ourselves um, important question. First, let's look at the light going into the prism. Okay, so here it is. And it looks like they're trying to have it go flat here. So it's going to go flat there. What angle of incidence should they have? Well, they drew an angle of incidence like that. And the first thing we're asking is, did they draw it correctly? How accurate did they draw it? So we have to do a little geometry to figure this out. Right? We have to draw the normal to the, uh, to the this thing. The prism. It looks like an equilateral triangle, so all these angles are 60 degrees. And this is geometrical optics. We have to do a little geometry. So if I draw a normal like that, we got to figure out what is the angle of incidence. Okay. Uh, or what is the angle of refraction? I'm sorry, we're looking for it. Do they draw this angle right? We'll call that theta uh, one. But we can geometrically get that angle because we know they're making it go flat. And you can get it because, let's see, you know that the side in the normal is 90 degrees, and you know that's 60 degrees. So 90 minus 60, it's actually 30 degrees is the angle of refraction. Okay. So what is the incident angle? So, well, we can just go through the numbers. Out here, it was N1, which is air, right? N equals one, N equals 1.5 times the sine, the incident angle that we're looking for equals 1.5 times the sine of the refracted angle, 30 degrees. Okay, so let's go through that, solve it, what do we get? So it's all numerical, we're solving for that. It's basically whatever that gives you, I didn't do the intermediate steps. You get the intermediate uh, angle is 48.6 degrees. Okay, that's what they should have drawn there. Let's see how they did. Uh, let's see, we're gonna zoom in here. There it is. And there's our little diagram. I like going horizontal or if there's our normal. And I measured it, you know, in a graphics program. 48.6 like or 40, uh, very close, 48.5 degrees. They nailed it. How, I mean, I don't know if you're familiar with Pink Floyd. Let's get a look at Pink Floyd here. All right. Do you think these guys know anything about physics? Do you think they would get that degree right to within a tenth of a degree? These look like people you're going to trust with your physics knowledge. Well, the good news is they didn't make the album cover, obviously. A graphic designer named um, Storm Thorgerson made the album cover. Ah, yes. Famous album cover graphic designer Storm Thorgerson. Now, do you feel like that guy? We'll get it right? Maybe. But he didn't make it either, right? He's just the graphic designer. Now let's find the guy who actually drew it. Ah, George Hardy. Now we're talking, right? You think this guy got it right? I mean, he's got the old man jacket. He's got the cardigan. He's got the flannel. He's got the academic books in the background. Messy desk. George definitely got it right. But we're not done because let's go, let's see. I mean, he got the incident angle right. But what's going on out here? I mean, now there's a giant rainbow. Right? We haven't done the rainbow part yet. So let's think a little bit now. If we have white light coming out here, 
And I want to think about the exit now. Let's do it for blue and red. So here's blue and here's red. Now if we draw a normal here, now the incident angle, 30 degrees. So we know we're going to have for blue 1.53 times the sine of 30 equals uh, 1 air times the sine of this angle we're looking for. But for red, it's going to be 1.52 sine of 30 equals 1 times the sine of theta. So what are the angles we're going to get? Uh, if we calculate them, we'll get 49.4, so red, 49.4 degrees. Oh, sorry, I drew them for you. Yeah. So here they are. So 49.4 for red, 49.5 for blue. So they come out at different angles. Right? That's why you could imagine that they, they separate a little bit. Um, now, finally though, we're to the part where George Hardy took a little bit of artistic license. Okay? The difference between those angles, 0.5 degrees. The difference he drew in that diagram, I've measured those angles and they're off by five degrees. So he exaggerated the difference in angle by about a factor of 10, so that you could see it. You could also ex ask, what's going on in here? Why is there a giant angle there and why did it stay white, right? That should have separated. So he probably ran through the numbers and realized this white beam is going to disperse so little that you're basically not gonna see it. Maybe it had a tinge of red on one side, a tinge of blue on the other side, but it's not gonna like separate. So these are the artistic choices he made. It separates in here. I'll leave it white in there. It really separates out there. And you see all the colors and it's very beautiful. All right. So let me unpink Floyd here. Um, 